Hey, I'm Brian, Slasher and Suits. What's going on, dudes? Alright, so I already did a kill count about Invisible Man, and I did a couple of, uh, like, the ending death and all this other stuff, but people were watching that video and saying, where's all the kills in it? Well, here's all the kills right now. So, I'm the <laughs> COVID stopped the whole world. No new movies coming out. So, I got the footage. I might as well make it Kill Count Plus, right? That's what I'll call it. So, if you're in the market for new Kill Counts and Kill Count Pluses, subscribe here. But, enjoy. So, Alright, so recapping the kills, the first kill is the sister, right? Oh, why'd you catch the knife? Is there like a magnet inside your hand or something like that? I guess, dude, that's how he planned it out. Yeah, because if she doesn't catch the knife, then they can't even pin it on her. Be like, hey man, I was just talking to her and she killed herself, can you believe it, right? You know, how am I going to jump over the table and kill her with this butcher knife when I shouldn't even have a butcher knife inside a restaurant? How about that? Come on, girl, drop the knife. Any sort of murder weapon like, nope, nope, I know what you're thinking. Did not do it. But, oh, man, that was probably the best kill of the movie because that came like such a surprise. I was shocked. Then after she went to prison for that, he broke her out and then only seemed to kill this one guard. Yeah, the prison breakout scene never made quite sense to me, right? Like, the Invisible Man was like one hitter, quitter, a bunch of fools, right? He knocked out a couple of guards, but he seemed to only kill one guard in particular. I thought it was almost like, well, I'm just going to beat up a couple of guards and hurt them a bit to keep a low profile. Like in the movie Heat, like, man, you don't try to kill anybody, then you get a homicide on you. And then, like, even in that same scene with the escaping guard, he kicks away his gun. So, are you trying to be like a villain version of Batman, or are you only trying to kill the people who are definitely getting in your way? Yeah, all the other guards were getting knocked out. And it's either he's super strong because he did break a window earlier with his hands, or you just get knocked out by the punches you never see coming. I say it's weird he only killed that cop because his only official kill on the books then is the sister, right? That's the only person he actually tried to kill just to frame her, though, too. So why kill this random uh, guard in this prison, right? I don't know. It doesn't make that much sense to me now that I think about it. Because he wasn't in his way, really. He had hands up. Just knocked me out like the rest of those guards. See, she was actually spilling her guts to the detective sister before she killed her. So maybe that was like a rash decision. Like, man, she is squealing and running and giving away my whole plan. So I get why I kill her, but killing the guard... Right? And I think he's dead. Usually you shoot somebody to either uh, scream in pain or something. This guy just fell down. Look at all those fools who are knocked out in this scene. It's like, hey man, just because you're knocked out doesn't mean you, you might not even wake up again. Being knocked out's pretty dangerous. Some of them could be dead. Then she has the brilliant idea of hitting him with the fire extinguisher and shooting him with the gun. Ooh, two-piece. Oh, man. But there comes a big twist right here. She finally kills him, takes off the max and goes, what? That's the brother and not him at all. The Invisible Man became the Invisible Man, right? Dude had an accomplice. <laughs> what if he was for real? Like the brother did all that stuff and he had nothing to do with it. And now he's just trying to have a baby with her. And then she kills her baby daddy. So she put on the suit and killed just as many people as the Invisible Man did, right? Like maybe in the sequel she could be the evil one. They did make an Invisible Woman back in the day. Who knows man, maybe she'll just turn bad in the next one because, you know, she did leave with that suit so she has the capability. She killed a couple of fools already, you know, she already popped her killing people cherry. So, you know, once you kill somebody you feel good about it, you'll do it again. And will she even have the baby some girls you know they say they want to have the baby then they switch their mind on you and go to the clinic you, you know that old story yeah maybe in the sequel she'll be the one to turn bad she goes towards the dark side right because now she knows hey i'm empowering myself i could kill anybody i want 
right? And maybe this guy comes back. Is he really dead? He faked it once, right? Yeah, once you fake it on a girl, first of all, then you gotta keep up the act and keep faking it over and over again until it might not really happen in real life, you know? So it doesn't help you to fake it, you know? You gotta be real. You only hurt yourself if you fake it in the long run. So let's recap the kills. We have number one, we have the sister. So the sister is definitely on the books as being killed and definitely a victim. And then the cop. There could have been other cops, you know, being knocked out isn't fun or safe, but definitely that guard and then definitely the brother. So she killed him. So almost they're tied. They're equally as efficient killers. That's my whole point. Because she was able to kill the brother and then kill the main guy. So there you go, man. Two for two. So, you know, I buy her totally be like a villain. Maybe she could be on the run too in the next movie. Alright, like and subscribe. Watch some other Kill Count videos. Follow me on everything. And thanks for watching. Catch you dudes later. Later, dudes. Now you've only got yourself to blame for that innocent young girl's death. No, please. Not Sydney, she's angry, so. Hold it! Show me your hand! <laughs>